Psychic America. This is Tracy Brown coming to you today, May 13th, 2014. Oh, let me tell everyone Happy Mother's Day. Um, I did a video yesterday and I didn't get to say Happy Mother's Day because I forgot because of breaking news, breaking news um, concerning Jay-Z, Solange, and Beyonce. So take a look at that video um, because it does look like some information is coming out that agrees with what I predicted yesterday. And I, I yesterday's my day off. I usually don't do readings on my day off. Um, I wait until Tuesday when I come back to work. However, I felt the need to be a journalist and do my investigation, psychic journalist, and do my investigation and put through the video from my house. So glad I did. Because then I woke up this morning and there was some information that concur, wait, concur or agree, doesn't matter. There was, there was some writing that agreed with my prediction. So, but this is a mess. Um, what Jay-Z and Beyonce and Solange is going through. A mess, it's gonna get messy. Okay, so um Sherry Shepard, you're up for psychic review. I'm kind of already bored with this situation. The only thing that makes it very, very interesting, Sherry, is this unborn child. That's what makes it interesting. So I'm gonna check the cards and see what happened between I think his name is Lamar. Lamar one. What happened between you and Lamar? What went wrong? And what's going to happen with this unborn child? Oh, poor baby. Poor baby. Imagine a baby being born into this much public conflict. <laughs> it's horrible. Um, what I really do remember, um, what's your name? Sherry Shepard. Um, you shouldn't have married him. Shouldn't have married him. I, I think some people, want, I remember Whoopi publicly on The View. T telling you something about don't force this guy to have a baby because I remember you were like I need to have a baby right now blah, blah, blah. even though you have a little, a little boy you have a boy he didn't want to have a baby I remember that um, but then I heard through the grapevine that you were warned by Barbara Walters and Joy Behar not to even marry him in the first place wow what did they see that you couldn't see <laughs> oh dear Sherry Shepard, you're up for Psychic Review. By the way, if you need to reach me, oh, you should want that if you need. You should <laughs> want to call me for your own psychic readings on your love life, career, money, blah, blah, blah. Because I am accurate. I am. I mean, my tagline is I'm mostly right, but I'm like always right. <laughs> In any case. Call me at the Green Man Store, thegreenmanstore.com, or 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, or call me at the Green Man Store at 818. Why are these cards acting this way this time? Why am I card? Oh, you know what? I had them in the sun. Sometimes, okay, sometimes you put things in the sun to clear the energy, clear the energy, and I was off for a couple of days, and I put them in the sun, but it kind of got a little warped. I really like these cards. These cards have really taken care of me. In terms of um, accuracy. I haven't replaced them in like two years. Alright, let's try. Talking too much. Hmm. Um, ooh, Lamar. Huh. Ooh, Sherry. Now, normally I use this card when there's a vixen woman around. Like, um, like when I have to tell a woman, oh, you know, you know, she's skinky. Or be careful, she could be a skinky hoe. Be careful around your husband. This is Lamar. Sally, or oh, Sally Lamar. I think it's Lamar Sally. This is him, Sherry. This is him. This is him. He, this card is called the Temptress, Seduction, Deceit. Um, guaranteed a broken promise. Gotta tell you, you were his new beginning. You were his, his fresh start. You were his, um, you know, you know what I'm getting? Oh my God, I don't mean to laugh. Am I laughing? Okay. Sherry, you know what I'm getting? I'm getting that he came to you by design. I'm getting that you were his insurance policy. 
it's kind of like taking out an insurance policy on someone like a million dollars. Like, you were a jackpot. <laughs> you were a jackpot. Um, he played on your emotions. He played on the fact that you publicly, God, I tell people all the time, you publicly just kept saying, my marriage was bad, my husband cheated on me, blah, 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 diary of the mouth. Here's the perfect way, ladies and gentlemen, here's the perfect way to get someone to treat you the way you want to be treated. Tell them your story. That doesn't mean that the person that you're coming to isn't going to be calculated and morph into a character that behooves them. Keep talking. <laughs> sometimes, especially in relationships, especially when you meet someone new, sometimes it's better just to shut up. Just keep quiet. But unfortunately, Sherry, you just put this shit out there. You put it on the view. You know, Sherry, I got to tell you, I'm one of these people that talking my past relationship issues, if it doesn't benefit me personally to put it out there publicly, um, <laughs> I'm not going to talk about anybody. Because talking about your ex-husband actually put you in a position to have karma come back around. Ooh, not me. Not me. You. <laughs> um, Sherry, I'm actually getting. He was telling you. He was. He was kind of informing you of who he was. He was. He wasn't that secretive. He was kind of letting you know that what could be coming for you. Like it's kind of like when someone tells a story about their past. Like what you could hear is, ah, they're pointing it back to me. Again, I'm going to give you another example. If I date someone and that person calls his previous relationship a bitch, I won't date him. I just won't. Or if he calls her out or if he talks too bad about her and he's the victim, I won't date that person. Because I know that what you're doing, you're going to do to me. Because that character has been formed to trick women. Or, or don't get it twisted, men get tricked all the time by women as well. So even if a woman talks about the bad relationship and you're like, oh my God, I feel so bad for you. Trust me, it's not always um, what you think it is. In any case, I'm over it. Sherry, I got to tell you, I don't think this is Lamar Sally. This is you. I know you have it in you to fight. I just wish you would, I just wish you would shut up and fight. Don't speak so loudly. Stand your ground, Sherry, and don't back down. This baby truly does mean the world to you. Having this baby it means so much to you. Sherry, I kind of see you holding your baby. I kind of get that you're the one that's going to win in the long haul, in the long haul. I gotta tell you, focus your intention. He's a very important cause. Um, stand your ground. Don't back down. This is this baby is something that's so important to you and your heart. And I, I kind of see you holding your baby. Prayer works, Sherry. You call yourself religious. Prayer works. I would, I would not focus so much on my divorce anymore. Nor would I focus on Lamar Sally. I would just focus on God's gift to you, which is this baby. Sally was looking for money. He got it. He got it. Um, you were blindsided. But I'm also getting that at some point, you saw who he was. And you got so angry. And your relationship was horrible, like in the last six to eight months. Because you began to see that this guy's leeching off of you. Did he ever work the whole time that you were? Yeah. He's coming after your money. I'm getting you as family money. He's coming after your money. I don't know, Sherry. It might be best to pay him off. Yep. He wants money. Um, jackpot. That's what judgment means. That means he is going to get some financial settlement um, from you, Sherry. Sorry. 
Even if he doesn't get custody of the baby, which I don't see happening, there's nothing that you're doing that you should have custody, he should have custody of the baby. Um, I do get you getting full custody. He's such a snake, though, because um, California is more lenient in their um, judgments more than New York City. Did he even live in L.A.? Seriously, what does his license plate show? His, his driver's license, I believe, is New York. That's where it should have been filed. By the way, Sherry, I would switch it. I would take it out of L.A. I would put it back in New York City where it belongs. Um, if you can, I would put it back in New York City. It's where you reside. And he did it out of trickery because California is very lenient in terms of um, custody. And uh, we have 50-50 here. But I got to tell you, Sherry, you can get around this. You can get around this because unless he can 100%, California is always very, I'm stuttering today. California has some rules about um, three months, then your license plate needs to show that you are a resident of California. If he has a New York license and filed for divorce in L.A., you can get that null and void and push it, push it back to New York City. That's what I'm getting. Um, Sherry, you were a fool. This is going to stay in the, and I mean that in a loving way, but sorry, you were a fool. Um, this is going to stay in a public eye for a while. You actually still love him, though. You actually still love him. Um, he loves money, so as long as you give him what he needs, he actually may work with you. Especially once he realizes he doesn't have a legal leg to stand on. You know, Sherry, I would make sure that he spends every dime on legal stuff. That's what I would do. I would make sure. Um, he is going to get money, though. Let's be realistic. He's going to get something from you based upon your prenup. But he also is going to get something from you based upon um, visitation rights and needing money to spend on the child. So it could be a lose-lose situation in terms of finances for you because... To be honest with you, for the rest of your life, um, you will be paying um, child support, 18 years. Um, yeah. I feel bad for your little son. I feel bad for your little son. He's hurt by this. He's confused by this. Sherry, you actually don't discipline your son very well. And he's, he's actually going to act out even more now. So, I really feel bad for him because this is a shame. Um... Hmm. I'm getting that Lamar Sally was a leech, was always a leech. Sherry, I actually got that you knew this in the past six months. There was something about not even wanting to go through with the surrogacy at some point. But you were so intent on having a second baby um, that you didn't always notice or you, you kind of said... It had something to do with the surrogate issue. Like, that's what you said. I also get, Sherry, not only did you discover that your husband was a leech, I also think that you became hellified, bitchy. Hellified, screaming and yelling. Like, a little bit, like, loopy, a little bit crazy. I feel like nobody could stop you in your house. Um... In a weird kind of way, I think he's kind of justified leaving you. I don't think he meant to do it in two years. I just think that you discovered that he was never going to work, ever, ever again. And that ultimately you were going to be forced to carry the weight um, of two children and a husband or three children. Um, and I think that because you were the moneymaker, this is you as the moneymaker, that he was completely happy. This is secrecy allowing you to carry the weight. So, unfortunately, Sherry, and other women out there, you know, you're going to learn a painful, painful lesson, just painful, on the realistic, you know, views that people have out there, especially when you come with a lot of money. So, I don't know if this was a good read, to be honest with you. I can't really say it's a good read, but... Like anything else, information will come out. Sherry, I feel bad for you. I just wish you could have seen this a lot sooner. All right. This is Psychic Tracy Brown. Doing my videos from the Green Man store today. Thank you for tuning in. I love you all. Have a good day. Bye.